a conversation that I do have with my students that may not be that may not be comfortable for some is we do talk about the elephant in the room, which is the pandemic and how it's not only infected my students, but how it has, you know, affected my, me, uh, you know, so, so we need to be real and we need to be true. And we need to talk about just conversations that, you know, sorry, it may not feel comfortable, but guess what? You can actually integrate triggers into your classroom. Like if I, if my students are reading something that I think will trigger them, you know, I will, I will put a sign, a note, just letting them know that. But does that mean that they don't read it? Does that mean that we stop them from educating themselves and understanding? No, you got to do the work. Think about anything that you've had in your life. Think about something that you've worked really, really tough. You know, you really worked hard for. How'd you get that? Sweat, maybe some tears, some hard work, some people holding you up, supporting you, but you got it done. Things that are worth having don't come easy. Privilege is easy. Privilege is unearned. You didn't have to do anything and you get able-bodied privilege. You get, you know, uh, white privilege. You get, um, you know, religion in terms of religion, you can be privileged in that category. Privilege is integrated throughout our system. And basically white supremacy set up the system long before many of us were ever alive. And what, what did they decide? Who gets privilege and based on what? Based on class, based on religion, based on race, based on ability, based on gender, and I can go on. Privilege is part of why we are here today and part of why we don't wanna have these conversations. So the next time you say to yourself, well, I just don't feel comfortable in engaging in this. You need to think about the standpoint. Where are you coming from? Why? What privilege do you have? <laughs>